welcome. So yeah, the plan is that we're gonna do this uh, this stream for like bi-weekly or weekly, depending on how it turns out. I have two cats at home here. Decided to be super annoying now. Yes, because I'm this monster six kilo black panther. All right, so yeah, uh, the plan was for me to build something today. Yeah, that thing, that would be really cool to build. So as you can see in the menu, I kind of cheated a bit and started because otherwise it would take me like three hours to get the dimensions as I want them. And uh, that would be no fun to watch whatsoever. Let's jump into the game, Lake Fika Viken. If you have any questions, just go ahead and, and write them in the chat. So yeah, uh, that thing, uh, really, really cool. I think some kind of, I think it's called a, um, a rock jumper or jock. But a rock bouncer, I think it's called. So what I did was, ahead of the stream, I started doing this. It looks kind of like Santa's sled. But I just tried to get some 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 uh, uh, measurements right and the dimensions. Jock bouncer, yes. <laughs> Whatever that is. I think the suspension will be the, the, the coolest thing, so we'll try to get that working and then we're gonna put some uh, uh, extra large wheels on here can put those immediately just so we can see how it looks. So yeah, something like this, but with proper suspension and steering and, uh, and all that. So let's start with trying to figure out the rear suspension. Yeah, we have the central mass now. It's it's also showing. I don't know if this is in the beta, uh, but we're showing central mass and also the the, the weight, the mass uh, of the complete bot, which is really really helpful. These things have pretty cool suspension where they have like uh, four arms going crossing at the back here. I don't know if any of you used the this cool thing, the universal joint. This might be what we need here. Uh, let's see. I think we want these. So we have some freedom of movement for the suspension. Like, I don't know, 10 degrees. Ish. Yeah, exactly. The plan is that I'm gonna try to build a, a vehicle with suspension and steering, but not use the drive motors. Because uh, I think uh, that could be cool. I've seen a lot of people having problem with that. Uh, so let's see if we can get it to work. I have no idea if we can manage that in like an hour or two or however long we're gonna sit here, but hopefully we can get it to work. So this arm need to go down there somewhere. Maybe we can make those a little bit narrower. Yeah. And then we have the same struggle with merging frames. I don't think you can merge frames if they are, or you can't merge them if they are separate chassis. Uh, then you might, I, I, I will show you a trick I have that could help you uh, when we get there. And then we need something like this, eh, like there. And if we did like 10 degrees here, I guess we're gonna do 10 degrees. No, whoa. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nobody saw that. Okay, so we're doing that. We need to get this flush-ish, if we can. Ish. Uh, also, I've seen a lot of people asking about why this is like centering when you're building frames, and it's just how it works. Uh, 
a good way of getting around that is I always build like a, f a small five by one, five by five square, and uh, then work from there. Seems to work pretty well, and it also lets I I kind of do that every time I place like a motor or like if I if I was to place a motor. Well, this is not a motor, but if I place this here and then I decided that I want to move it out, I can just move that whole piece and not move yeah move the whole chassis. Get it semi straight. <clears throat> then we want to hook that up to that thing. parts with scroll wheel super handy seems to be something weird with mirrored pieces right now in this I'm playing on our dev build so there might be s weird stuff happening that shouldn't happen but hopefully we can work around that kind of works maybe So this would be the arms that would swing and to now since we're building from here this piece is already attached here but if I would spawn this now you would see that uh, yeah it's not very cool and what we can do then is we can hit E bring up this menu hit weld and then we can select wherever we want it to, to weld to and we weld it to there and this one we weld to here. And now these will actually be attached instead. And that's, it's it's really, really powerful. Uh, in the future, we will hopefully have the mirroring of those welds to, to work properly. Uh, but yeah, this makes it so that all of this is like connected. And if I can't merge, I can't merge these. They won't fit together. Uh, but what I can do is I can extrude this, for example, and I can add a bearing and see if I can get in there. Yeah, like that. And then we unmirror that with M, so we only have one bearing on the left side here, and we select that, weld, and we weld it to that plate. So now these will be connected as as one but you see that they rotate uh, yeah they they rotate around each other but I mean an easy fix for that would be to just take another bearing you can uh, middle mouse click uh, to copy it or you can go into here and just pick a new one and we try to put that in there same thing hit M to remove the mirroring so we only have one select hover it select weld in the radial menu using E and then attach it there and now it won't rotate because it has two fixed positions which is pretty nice so now we need oh man i made it too short i want the wheels to be further out yeah and we can try to pull it out yeah that's about it and then we need to extrude this one or pull it so it also gets closer to that And this doesn't have to be exact for the weldings to work, so yeah, like that. And we can lower this one slightly, select it, weld. If you move stuff too much, uh, you might lose the weld because it, it traces a distance. So you, you might need to weld it again if you, if you do stuff like that. Uh, move this tad bit closer. That looks pretty good. And, uh, okay, we go out here and then I'm not gonna do rear wheel steering because that 
no. Some, I've seen some tracks that have that, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna do a uh, motor. This doesn't matter. I just want the olive piece to be upwards. And then we can grab the wheel, put it on there. And now we should have... Let's see, yeah, we still have power on the rear wheels. So we should be able to drive now. Oh, and the hinging works. Perfect, so we have that, but we also want suspension to sit somewhere. I'm gonna remove these for now. And we want them to go out from here. So what I can try to do is add a attachment like that with a new chassis. And then we make that a tad bit smaller as well, just to make keep it neat. This cool. No, we don't. We need uh, this. Since we want the the springs to attach back here, we need them to be swiveling freely. Uh, and then we can do. Let's see. It should be all the way up. Um, have a zoom something like that and then we can since this chassis piece is attached to that one we can hover over it and scroll and we can rotate that as well we can rotate it so it's sits kind of where we want it to sit it's long enough but I think we also want it to be leaning outwards, right? It's like a preview bug there, yeah. So maybe something like this could work. And then we can try to get that down there. And then, yeah, I, as I said, I, I, I like, you don't have to, but I like to do this where I give it its own piece back out and let's add another wheel and put it back right so this one is auto attached up here since we started from there uh, I hate that this is gray so let's that looks cooler uh, now we can tell that to weld here so they should be you're gonna see now that I welded this it won't mirror so we, we won't have the have it uh, attached on the on the other side so we go there uh, that one hover it press e weld to that so yeah now that kind of works it's pretty cool I haven't adjusted the, the spring rate or anything so if you if you hover over it or, oh, if you click it you get the spring length this is where you can change how, how uh, far it can move and then if you hit T to cycle gizmo as it says on the screen you get to stiffness and we can like this vehicle is gonna be heavier later so we might have to tweak this again if we set it at like 3000 maybe and then we can toggle t again and get spring dampening and this is like this is gonna affect how fast it settles if you have it at very low it's gonna be like very like bouncy wobbly and if you put it at a thousand it will settle very quickly uh, and go back to its neutral state somewhere in between in the middle could work uh, i have no steering so this is a little bit funny at the moment but that yeah whoa oh god we have no collision on those oops Bird. <laughs> so i guess that's it for that one I thought it would take way longer uh, we can try to make this look nice later uh, I mean on these I would like to just double click and remove those so it's just metal beams could look a little bit a little bit better and then we can do the same here and try to to shape it a bit but yeah this is kind of what we want uh, maybe we can try to have a diff going from uh, not a diff but 
drive shaft uh, put like a small motor here and we can do, 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 do. let's think uh, let's pretend that it's an off-centered one and we place a hinge here and we unmirror that and then we hook that up with uh, this rotate it downwards ish and this looks like a drive shaft i think it's really cool and then we do the same thing here oh wait will this work i don't know don't know if this will actually work These won't connect, so I can do a chassis piece in there. Do it like that. Extrude that. Weld it to this, I think. And now what I can do, we take like the motor. This is pretty cool. I mean, sometimes when you play, you have it like this. And it's hard to know maybe what piece it is if you haven't renamed it, which you can do. Uh, if you go to transparency and then hover this, you can see the part highlighted, which is nice. So if we take now the this motor 2 and we take the current power. And then I I don't know if this was, will work. We can try. And then small. And we can take power. Why is that already hooked up? So now this will take the current power from that motor when I'm driving and it will transfer it to this one so it will move the same way, I think. Yeah. That's kind of cool. There you go. A drive shaft. It even works with the suspension. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, the best you can do for us is wishlisting the game. That helps us out a lot. All right, front suspension. We need to get this going. So pretty much the same thing again. I'm gonna try to whip it out semi-fast here. Could add like a servo on one side here, but if we use a bearing which is unpowered, uh, so you can't you can't put power to this and use it for driving or anything. Uh, so let's say we add a plate to there, and we make that smaller. In space. This is why I like to, to separate this, is because it's if I need to do this, the bearing will still be centered on that plate, which is very, very helpful. We can remove this. 
first of all, we're gonna do the same trick here. Place that, unmirror it, weld it to this plate. Will weld even though you see a gap. Weld. Weld. What I want to do here, since this is what will be the wheels, the wheels uh, turning, we're gonna extrude it. Let's do that now. And then bring it. I also want some camber angle here. Let's do that. There we go. So now, oh god, that's skewed. It's not pretty. Let's make it pretty when it works. So that will rotate and the wheel will turn if we pull this thing. Right? So now it will be floppy wheel. Yes. But it works. Servo steering requires a servo. Let's grab the servo on there. And we only need one. Place it there. smaller as well and then we hope that we can actually get this to go to that <laughs> we're off by a mile it's gonna I'm gonna try to hack this and see if it works okay since I can't build straight apparently this will be a little bit fugly it might work That. Well, that. Yeah, it could work. You think it will work? Rotate that with D and A, and it's gonna be pretty fast moving and very, very, very strong. Yeah, it's inverted. We can either we can change this or we can use the cool negate node. Oh. See how it works. I mean it's it's working pretty well. Do I have I think I have this I broke. I think we need to have the suspension a little bit less angled. But maybe if we move this thing. This is also why I like to keep them the plates where I attach like motors and suspension and stuff to have them separate so it's easy to move. Because now I don't have to move everything and I can just rotate this down a bit. Ish. I think it's still welded even. It is. That's a better angle. Ski jump! Let's do the ski jump. Well, first of all, let's do that so it looks better. And paint it. Paint it gray. No, black. Dark. Gray. There we go. And yeah, camera. Let's try it. We have this cool thing. Under electronics, camera, and this is like one of your yeah, normal, it, it's not 360, it's like 180 camera, I think. Uh, it's pretty cool, and if you go into programming, you can bring that camera in, and you can activate it. Let's put it on C, and we toggle that to turn it on and off, and not have to hold it to watch that camera angle. Wrong one. Like that. And we can probably see the thing from under it. Oh yeah. Oh, explosions. Ooh. 
you, s you can change the brush color if you're in paint and you use the scroll wheel, you can see the color change and it's the color that the brush points to, that's the color you paint with. Let's try to jump it. Uh, 75 ish. So what do we want to do next? No, I can't build a walker. <laughs> I'm not smart enough. Oh, Jesus Christ. Doesn't look very comfy. Oh, the seat is for f big people. Kind of looks like I have those nice uh, decor like sewing details. Kind of, kind of formula. If you select edge, edge, and click this thing, you feel it. I mean, the suspension works, right? What do you think? Looks kind of cool. Whoa! Oops. Oh, no. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, obviously. <laughs> Try another GoPro view with a selfie stick. That's pretty nice view. I like this. Oh, oh no, my camera. Can I cheat this? I don't think this is meant to happen, but it works. That's a super neat camera angle though. I like how the tail end is like drifting sideways.
Well, I just deleted it. I think this is a bug and not intended. I think I saw people on Discord do this. I didn't know that you could. Um, so I have just deleted the frame and uh, this is just hovering. I think it's a bug, so don't expect that to work. All right. Oh. There we go. Nice one. Whoa. All right, guys, I will end it and uh, I hope to see you next time. I don't know if it's going to be next Thursday or in two weeks. Hopefully you can tune in by then. I hope you enjoyed this stream. It got a bit long, but it was fun. Building suspension worked out better than I thought it would. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye.